Welcome to this presentation of the GWO Taxonomy Framework. In this video, we aim specifically to provide insight on how a risk assessment in a wind turbine work environment is transformed into a learning activity that will be conducted by a training provider. GWO standards are created by the industry for the industry. Our members are globally leading turbine manufacturers and owners representing a majority of installed wind energy capacity around the world. Together, they share risk information and expertise to create training standards that improve safety and build a competent workforce. This video includes short self-test quizzes to help reflection along the way. Any hazard presents a risk of injuring employees or damaging materials and installations. Using a four-stage approach, GWO clarifies what wind technicians must be able to do and take responsibility for to mitigate risks and so avoid injuries and accidents. The approach is simple. The first stage is risk assessment. Together with representatives from the industry and training providers around the world, GWO clarify and analyze hazards and risks in relation to relevant work situations in the wind industry. For example, one hazard is transferring between a boat landing and vessel. Here, there is a risk of slipping from the ladder and becoming pinched between the landing and the bow as the vessel moves. In stage two, we then decide what actions or knowledge should be applied as precautions to mitigate the clarified risks. Looking at our example of the transfer between boat landing and vessel, the precautionary actions could be for the wind technicians to secure themselves by using a self-retractable lifeline or twin fall arrest lanyards while transferring. Next, in stage three, we identify the learning objective. In other words, we decide what the employee must be able to do to mitigate the risk. Thinking again about our boat landing example, if using the twin fall arrest lanyards will mitigate the risk of slipping from the boat landing, then the ability to use such equipment will be the learning objective in the training standard. Lastly, in stage four, we make the connection between the learning objective and the learning activities performed. Returning to our example, the relevant learning objective states that the participants can take responsibility for conducting safe transfer between vessel and wind turbine applying lanyards and connectors. Looking at the corresponding learning activity, if taking responsibility of applying twin fall arrest lanyards correctly is what wind technicians must be able to do, then this is what the participants must practice and thereby learn during the training. So, let's wrap up the main points. In this video, we have described the four-stage approach. First, a risk is discovered or experienced and analysed. Secondly, mitigating precautions are clarified and the required actions and abilities are defined. Third, learning objectives focusing on the required abilities are described. And lastly, training providers then go on to design digital or traditional learning activities where the required abilities are practiced in order to reach the learning objectives. By following this approach, we can create coherent risk mitigation training, improved safety, and so build a competent wind industry workforce. You can find guidance on the transformation from risks to digital or traditional learning activities in the GWO taxonomy framework, as well as in the GWO training standards, including detail on learning objectives and abilities to be practiced in learning activities. Furthermore, in the next GWO taxonomy video, learning activities that meet the objectives, 
you will specifically learn how to utilize the GWO taxonomy framework to plan and design involving and engaging learning activities for your next training program.